everyone, it's Kezi over here from Kezi's Corner and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kezia and this is the place where I share my love for makeup and beauty. I would love it if you would join my lovely family and for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for watching yet another video of mine. So today's video is going to be all about... One moment, let me just zoom you out. Nope, it's upside down. This pixie beauty box that I received and yeah look at me i'm so tiny next to it i just wish to say a big thank you obviously to all of you guys this is impossible like i'm really really grateful to all of you to all of you who decide to just come back and watch another video of mine to any one of you who have pressed that subscribe button or even pressed the bell button like oh my goodness like and even the ones who comment i just appreciate all your comments every single time this corner obviously would not be the same without you and I just wish to say a big thank you to Pixie Beauty for this beautiful box. When I received it, I was like, um, excuse me? <laughs> like, what is this? And like, I felt like I was a little girl on Christmas opening a present, a big surprise, and I'm just so grateful. So thank you so very much to Pixie Beauty. Basically, this is what the video is going to be about. It's all about the Pixie Pretties of 2021. So if you want to see what I thought of the products, what the products are, how they test out, then keep on watching. And if you like today's video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this box and start the video. So the box comes like this. As you can see, it is so freaking beautiful. And then you open it up like this. One second, I don't know if I'm going to manage. This is the box and these are all the pixie pretties that we have. <laughs> I just can't believe like looking at this box is just so beautiful so I'm just going to take out the products that we have and show them one by one and obviously test them out I've already done my face makeup so I'm good to go okay so basically I'm just going to read read the box and I'll tell you what it says as well so basically I'm honored and excited to present this year's pixie pretties we have created an exciting collection of palettes with four extremely talented and creative beauty industry experts XOXO Petra my goodness, I cannot believe that I was sent this box. I still like, I'm just looking at it and like, my God. Okay, so let me just start with this one. This one is the eyeshadow palette. This is in collaboration with Tina Young. And basically what she said is that I've combined all my favorite shades to create this versatile eyeshadow palette that's perfect for any occasion. Honestly, this looks like such a pretty summer palette. But then it also has like that autumn vibe as well going, but I just love how she incorporated the blues, the oranges, some subtle pinks as well, some dark shades as well. So there's quite a bit to do with this palette and I'm honestly so excited to try this out. And then we have this one. This one is Pixie and Promise. And basically, let me show you the palette. This is what the palette looks like. The packaging is just so stunning. That is the palette, so pretty. This is the inside. It has a lovely set of shades for to create that beautiful light complexion. I created this palette, she says, to help you enhance and define your best features. Get ready to be a sculpted goddess. I am excited to be a sculpted goddess. And like the packaging as well. I just love Pixie's packaging, always have. Okay, and then we have this one. So this one is the collaboration with Denise, Makeup by Denise. Don't let anyone dim your glow. Find the perfect shade to match any mood with this beautiful versatile highlighter palette. I have never seen highlights that are pink and purple, so that's really interesting. But I think I would just even use them like as a mixture of a blush as well, I feel. And then the final palette is an all lip palette. So this is what the palette looks like when it's closed i mean there's a beautiful amount of like pinks and reds and so beautiful and she says creamy deliciousness i created these colors for lips and cheeks it's all you need in one palette okay so this you can also apply it on your cheeks as well so cute okay so i'm going to put the box down now i've organized myself a little bit i'm just going to zoom you in because now obviously the focus is back onto the face <laughs> so let's start by using the eyeshadow palette first I think that is a really good thing like this is the eyeshadow palette it's actually called the tones and textures feeling fresh palette now obviously what I don't like about this is that the names are all at the back 
<laughs> so I'm going to struggle a little bit to find the name so I show you what looks what colors I choose however I will try my best so I am so excited guys oh my goodness I want to do something different but like the pinks are like just drawing to my name like oh my goodness I'm so sorry like please don't hate me guys but the pinks are like the ones that I'm like drawn to the most and that's the one I want to do but if you have any requests on which colors I should use then let me know in the comments down below and I will do that for you Okay, so let's start. I'm just gonna start. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this shade and this shade is called So I'm gonna take this shade first and this shade is actually called soft fade it looks like a really beautiful Like crease pink. They're very powdery. So might as well tap 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 that motion They're very very powdery. So there's a lot of fallout when you hit the pan however, then like if you tap it Like it will be okie dokie you guys know how I love my pink, so I think there was no doubt that I would choose something like this, but as my first shade. We can experiment, but also I'm also going out with my mom and nan now, so I kind of need something as well which is a little bit more on the neutral side. It's really pretty, I feel like I just want to add a little bit more on the left. Yeah, so I kind of went in back and forth with the shade to build it as much as I wanted. I mean, I don't mind eyeshadow that, eyeshadows that you have to basically build up to get what you kind of want to to be fair sometimes I kind of prefer them like that rather than just going into a shade and then like it, it's becoming it like is too much you know what I mean um, and you can't really go back you can't blend it out so I kind of like palettes which are like this um, I feel they're more they're much easier to work with so we've got that going on which I'm very happy as you can see like it does like create like a very messy pan but just blow it away basically never mind Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, this shade is called oh, Buttercup. Oh my god, what a cute name. So I'm gonna take this one, and this one is a slightly lighter pink, if I'm not mistaken. Is it like, okay, so here, yeah, it's like a pink peach shade. So I'm just going to apply that sort of at the bottom, like below the first shade. Like this one is less powdery than the other one, to be fair. I guess you just enhance like the peach shade. God, like this, for some reason, this color is like calling my name, but I have no idea how to incorporate okay, it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take, yeah, that brown, I think. Yeah, that brown is like calling my name. And that one's called Snug. So I'm gonna take this one, which is actually called Snug, and to apply it gently on the outer corner. So first I'm gonna like tap it. This would be a really cute, like, everyday palette. Like those shades, like, they look beautiful. So I think something like that, like, we've enhanced sort of the outer edge. I'm just going to take the first shade again. I feel like I wish to. And I'm just going to blend that in. So something like that. It's like a hair in my, like, extra hair in my brush. We don't like that. I like how it blended out and I kind of winged it out as well a little bit as you can see. Okay, so something like that I think. I don't know if like I winged it out a little bit too much but I think that's fine. So I'm going to take this pink first which is like a frozen beautiful pink. And this one is called Sweet Pea. So I'm going to put this one that is called Sweet Pea. So first I'm going to take that and I'm not going to do any cut creases or anything. I will apply that. For Ooh! That is gorgeous. Shade is beautiful. As you can see, I haven't like started it from my inner corner because I kind of want to put that pink, like that green shade in my inner corner. Like it's calling my name. I have done similar looks like this. I have, I am aware. I thought it would be a little more pinkier with the shades I use, to be fair. So I'm going to take that one, which is actually called Butterflies, and I'm going to take it on the same brush and we're just going to blend it on the outer corner. And you can also blend it with the previous shade as well. That's really beautiful. I like that. I like the contrast between the two. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the first shade that we used. And I'm just going to blend that into the outer part. Okay, now using, I just want to use it. Using this one, which is called Melon. And I'm going to take that. I'm actually going to put it on my inner corner, guys. I know, right? A bit different. Oh, so pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. It's a bit different and it's 
cute. I'm going to just blend it into the lighter shade as well. I love that. Oh my goodness. So now I'm going to take the first shade we use and I'm going to apply this on my water knife. I'm going to use my Pixie Mascara. Okay, I'm also going to do some highlight because I haven't done a highlight on my brow bone. It's this one, which is actually called Gleam, of course, it makes sense that it, it is called Gleam. This one right here, Gleam. Ooh, that is really bright. I like that a lot. So now let's move on to the complexion of it all because I'm really excited. So let's use this first. So this one is the one with Promise. And this one is called the Shapelifter Palette Sculptor. <gasps> I like that a lot. Okay, let me use, okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna use like a mixture of one and two. Oh no, no, one and two. I think that it will be better. Okay, it's a bit too much, isn't it? But like guys, did you see how good that blends? Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead as well. I really love the mixture of the colors actually, like it brought some color into my face, into my skin. So I'm just going to also apply some of this shade. I'm just gonna try it out to basically take away the harsh edge. So I'm just gonna use that one right there. Like this one. So that was the other palette. And now I'm gonna use this one. Let's use this one first. So this one is the Lip Blush Cream Rouge Palette. So I'm gonna take, I think, hmm, okay, I think I'm gonna take this one. So this one is the third one, which is called Strut. I'm just going to place it on my cheeks. Oh, this is really pretty. Like if you love cream products for your blush. I think you would like this one quite a lot actually. Actually blends out so nicely. I've never tried such a cream product which just blends in so effortlessly like I don't need a lot of work. So now for highlight I'm going to use this one. So this one is the palette which is called Mind Your Own Glow Find the Light which is this one right here. And I think I'm going to take that one right there which is in the middle and this one is called Lit, and that's why I want to choose it, I guess, because it's Lit. So let's see. I like how we have different colored highlights as well. Oh. Wow. Um, the glow is insane. So pretty. Absolutely love this. Okay, and now for the lips, I'm going to take the one actually on top of Strut which is called Such A Babe, which is this one right here. I feel like that's the one I kind of want. I like this a lot. This is such a cute, like I like, I like how I added like the green. I thought that was like something different that I would normally not do. So my hair is like not in the middle, but that's fine. So this is it. I'm just going to use the Pixie by Beauty, the Rose Glow Mist, which I have for my project pan. And that is the finished look. Oh my goodness, I have been impressed guys by all these palettes. The lip and the cheek one, oh my goodness, the blending of it to create like the cute blush look, absolutely, I love it. I have never tried a cream product for my blush which blended in so effortlessly on my skin without removing the product underneath, so I kind of really like this a lot. This, oh my god, the lit shade in this highlight palette is stunning have no words. I also love the conduct palette as well, like the mixture of sort of I used this one which was called Mandu and Spice. It created such a lovely nice sort of sculpted look. The eyeshadow palette as well is absolutely stunning. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the finished look. Again I just wish to say a big thank you to Pixie Beauty for sending over these products and for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I'm so truthfully grateful. And again, I just wish to say thank you to all of you because obviously without this, Casey's Corner wouldn't be where it is today. So thank you so much for your amazing support and for you always being there for me. 
I really appreciate it. So if you have any video requests, please let me know in the comments down below. Because I would also love to do what you guys wish for me to do as well. Um, if you have any feedback, I always love reading feedback. So it helps me, it helps you. So it's a win-win. I'm going to finish the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!